Coming up on this edition of the News at Rider, the campus celebrates Unity Days. Rider rocks for Dorfer. And the SRC turns four. Stay tuned for all this and more on the News at Rider. Welcome to the News at Ryder. I'm JT Fetch. And I'm Kelly Sousa. The Ryder campus remains free of the H1M1 virus. For the past two weeks, no more members of the Ryder community have been confirmed to have the H1M1 virus, although five individuals have reported flu-like symptoms. Since October 9th, there was a 2% increase of college students with the virus nationwide, and in New Jersey, the number of cases increased by 10% since last week. For more information, please visit Ryder.edu. In an attempt to learn about other cultures, several Ryder students conducted a video conference with Iraqi students from Kufa University. They directed a variety of non-controversial questions to each other. Anyone interested in attending a future session of this conference can contact Dr. Roberta Fisk Rusiano of the Political Science Department at Rusiano R at Ryder.edu. Speaking of learning about other cultures, Ryder celebrated Unity Days from October 14th to the 19th. Unity Days celebrate all of the diverse elements that make up the Ryder community. We had the chance to experience all the fun as Ryder kicked off Unity Days with Multicultural Food Fest. Let's take a look back at this event. Um, we had Unity Day at Ryder University. Fun day, you get to listen to great music from the Steel Kings band, and I get to experience different foods from different cultures. Um, I've had some egg rolls, some lots of different versions of Chinese food, and different versions of meat. It was very tasty today. I enjoyed it very much. Um, and we have a whole week at Unity Week, and um, I look forward to the other events. I really love Unity Day because I feel like a lot of the times Americans are so separated, all cultures separate. I like Unity Day; it brings everything together. I love it. I just came down from the Westminster campus for it. I came mostly to hear the music. The lunch was great as well. They had a really nice mix of different nationalities. We were just talking about the fact that they were playing a Western pop tune, but with different multicultural elements. And that sort of sums it up. The food is awesome. The variety is great. Things I haven't tried before are really good. Music is fun. Gives a whole different atmosphere as far as uh, it's not just lunch, but it's a whole event. It doesn't just free lunch. Oh, goody! This is a really nice event. Other events included various workshops that aim to celebrate social change and progress in civil rights and diversity. A Rock for Darfur concert was also held. Our news team was able to capture all of the action. in four bands tonight to play for free to raise awareness about the genocide in Darfur. Um, they're playing totally for free, uh, we have lots of food, it's a free concert, um, and I as Vice President of Ryder University Circle K have taken on this project as part of the Unity Day, um, Unity Day festivities this year. So I was part of the Unity Day committee over the summer and everything we've been planning for all summer is coming down to tonight's concert. Basically, the reason that we did the show, uh, we got contacted by someone at Ryder, and uh, we decided that it was a pretty good cause. You know, we support the whole Dark Four thing. You know, advocating that. So we basically decided to, you know, come down and lend our services to hopefully help out a little bit. So that's what we did. This past week, students, staff, and members of the Ryder community helped celebrate the Student Recreation Center's fourth anniversary. They enjoyed many things from food to fitness and I had the opportunity to celebrate this important day. Let's check it out. The fourth anniversary was filled with numerous events including free food, a moon bounce and even a performance from the Ryder dance team. T-shirts were being given away and a DJ was on hand while students played video games on the flat screen TVs. 
I spoke with Jill Shockley about her position at the SRC as well as the center's future plans. Yes, I'm the assistant director of events at Ryder. I also oversee the management contract of the rec center. Okay, so today, um, the fourth anniversary, has there been any kind of uh, big changes along the way? Is there anything in the future that's kind of planned for the next year, a couple years or so? Um, nothing really big planned. We have gotten, you know, a lot of new equipment. Uh, we've really upgraded the lobby by putting in the game room with new TVs, a lot of, you know, the Wii, a lot of new games each year. We got all new recliners this year. Um, we're probably in the next few years new to need to do a major overhaul on the equipment itself, um, but we have gotten some new pieces and everything else seems to be holding up pretty, pretty well. The SRC is the home to three playing courts, a running track, and even a Starbucks. And for the complete hours, visit the SRC's website at rider.edu slash SRC. Rider will be celebrating National Campus Sustainability Day on Wednesday, October 21st. Come learn about biofuels and solar energy in the Student Recreation Center from 1130 to 130. There will be games and giveaways. As part of the ongoing Green Film Session, students can view the documentary Fuel and meet the filmmakers Josh Tickle and Rebecca Harrow at 6 p.m. in the BLC Theater. Career Services held a fall kickoff event at the BLC. Here's Kelly with more on that. Career Services has much to offer students and alumni, including information on interviews and advice on how to land a valuable internship or job. I myself attended this meeting and took a closer look at what they had to offer. Um, what Career Services is trying to do is um, to bring the students together to let them know what our services are and what they should be doing year by year. So as a freshman, what th can they use um, Career Services for? As a sophomore and junior, um, where should they be looking for internships? And as a senior, how can they find jobs or how can they apply to grad school? And they offer individual career counseling. Maybe you're confused about what major you should pick up or if you pick the right major, you could come into our office and talk to someone to figure that out. We do career assessments, we do a personality assessment and an interest assessment that you can fill out and come and meet with us and just see where your interests lie, what your personality tells you about related occupations in the field that you might want to go into after graduation. If you'd like to make an appointment with any of us, you can call extension 7488 or stop by. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm JT Fetch. And I'm Kelly Sousa. Please join us next week for an all new edition of the News at Rider. Have a great day.